Hello, this is Roger, Low Vision Product Manager here at Humanware. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up the files from your Explore device. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be using an Explore 8, although these directions apply to the Explore 5 and the Explore 12 as well. I'll also be using a Windows computer. However, you can do this with a Mac computer or even a Surface tablet or another device that can be USB connected um, and handle a mass storage device transfer. So here you see my Explore 8 on my desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and power it on by lifting this left edge and up in the top left corner here, pressing the power button to turn it on. And I'm gonna lay it down. You can see that it's turned on because there's icons on the screen, there's the magnification. Uh, but what I wanna do is go into the menu. So I'm going to long press the orange contrast button on the bottom edge here, and the menu will open up. And what I wanna do is just take a look in my gallery these are the files that I'm going to transfer off the device. So here I can see an image of a mouse, some instructions, a tax form, a business card, and here's another document that I've captured. So what I need to do in order to transfer these files off the device for backup, and the reason I wanna back them up is, first of all, it's just good practice to have these things saved in case something were to happen to your device. If you were to lose it, maybe it gets dropped in water. Um, but also, um, when we go to update the device, it's best practice to go ahead and back up all of your files on there in case they need to be deleted. So what I'm going to do is connect my USB cable to the device. Uh, this device takes a USB-C. That's the more oval end of this uh, cable that I have right now. Uh, some older devices will have a micro USB. So the USB-C is what I'm going to plug into my device. I'll lift it up again, and on that left edge down in the lower bottom corner here, I'll plug it in, and it nice and snugly clicks into place. And then I will take the USB-A end of the cable and plug that into my computer right now so you can see what happens on my Explore device when I do that. I get a message that says PC connected, and now I know that I'm fully hooked up to my computer and everything moves over onto my computer for the next steps. Okay, over here on my computer, you can now see that when I connected my Explore device, it immediately opened the Windows Explorer on my computer. So I see in the tree to the left here, uh, under my PC that the Explore 8 is seen as a D drive. That's because it is a storage device. It appears twice in the list there. Um, and it's opened up again completely to the Explore 8. And there's one folder on here. It's my images folder. So let's just take a quick look inside the images folder by double clicking on this file folder. So here I see a list of all of the images that we just looked at a moment ago. Uh, we do create thumbnails for them uh, as we uh, create them on your Explore device. Um, so what we're going to do is move these onto my computer. So to do this, I need to have some place that I'm going to move them. I can move them wherever I like on my computer, uh, but let's navigate out of the Explore 8 for just a moment and go ahead and go into my pictures on my computer here. And here I see uh, three folders that already exist, but I wanna create a new folder for these. Like most things in Windows, there's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, one is to uh, come up into the left corner, click on new, and there you see I can create a folder there, or I can come anywhere in the area where these folders already are and right click, and I will get uh, a menu that opens up here. Oops lost my click there, and you'll see a new option there that also allows me to create a folder. Let's click on that. There's my new folder. It's highlighted in blue here. I wanna rename this, so I'm gonna call it Explore Backup, okay? So now I have an empty folder. Let's double click just so you can see. Yep, folder is empty. Okay, now I'll come back over to the left here and click on my Explore and you'll see that it opens up again, and there I see my images folder. Let's open that back up again, and here I see all of the images that are on here. Now, I am currently in a detailed list view. 
So uh, that's fine if I want to select all of these to move. And there are a couple of ways to select all. One is to use my keyboard and press Control A, and you'll see that everything turns blue. Um, I'll unclick. Now they're all released. And the second way is to click and drag across all of them, and that will select all of them. So this is fine if I want to move them all, but if I want to be more selective about what I'm going to move to my backups, because I, maybe I don't want to back everything up, I can come up in the uh, navigation bar here and click on view. And let's change to extra large icons from this list view. Now I get nice large icons that will allow me to manually select individual files that I want to move. So let's say I want to move a couple at a time. So let's say I want to move this image here, but I want to select a couple so I don't have to do them all one at a time. So I want to also take these mouse instructions down here. So I'm gonna use my control key on my keyboard and then my mouse to click. And I also want this tax form over here to the right. So I'm going to keep holding my control button and click on that one. So now I have three files selected to move. Um, so now what I need to do is copy them so that I can take them over to that other folder. Again, like most things in Windows, a couple of ways to do this. One is up here in the toolbar. Here's a copy option. Another is over here in this area. I can right click and you'll see that they turn gray, uh, but I also get a menu option here to copy. So let's go ahead and use that one there. I could also use my keyboard with a control C at this point. So let's copy them. They go back to blue and now I'll navigate back to where I created my folder to move them to, which was in this pictures folder over here. There's my explore backup folder. I'll open that up. And my toolbar, folder still empty, my toolbar now has a paste option that's activated. I can also right click over in this area and my paste option will appear there. Or I can simply click in this area and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut this time and do control V and it will immediately paste those images over into my backup folder. I can go back to my Explore 8 now and go into that images folder and you'll see that all of my images are still there. Um, say you've copied everything off and you just wanna start with a clean slate. Um, you can delete everything from right here and it will wipe them out from your Explore 8 device or you can return to your Explore 8 device, go into your settings and go into the gallery, delete one at a time or use the delete gallery option that's also available in the menu. Um, but let's say I want to clean this off and start with a clean slate. I'm going to use that click and drag right now and click and drag across all of my files here. Again, different ways to do things. Uh, but up here in my toolbar, there's the garbage can to delete them off of my Explore 8. I'll be prompted, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So now my device is completely clean and ready to go on uh, about my business with my Explore 8, uh, magnifying things, capturing images, and using it so that I can accomplish what I need to. It's also set up nicely if I want to run an update. Um, it's completely clean right now. Again, remember, this is the same process for an Explore 5 or an Explore 12, even though I use an Explore 8 today. And it's also a very similar process on a Mac computer although I'm using a Windows computer today. I hope that you find this video to be helpful to you um, in backing up your files from your Explore devices. And as always, be sure to give us feedback on any of our Low Vision products so that we can continue to improve them and serve you well. Thank you for watching.